so we have uh, okay if in the chapter on literature review it is important to include all material as comprehensive catalog so this is false you have to be selective okay, i mentioned earlier be selective okay when you are doing your literature review you have to be selective okay you have to be selective okay the next question the next question is classification three for sub areas can guide a researcher to choose his or her research focus okay so the answer is true literature review can be summarized into a table or my map this is true especially at the beginning of your reviewing of literature you need to summarize in a table so that you can compare you can contrast you can see similarities you can see the differences if you start writing you cannot analyze what is in the literature review analysis of literature you need to have analytical mind what we call it critical literature review if you don't summarize in a table how could you compare it's very difficult to make comparison okay also you can put in mind mapping also can okay because you can see where is the gap okay but for the starting it's recommended that use a table okay for your uh your own short note okay you can put as a mind mapping because if you start, I've, I've, I've seen students they start writing literature review and it's very headache to read because there is no flow no proper flow because you can write after you compile all the information in a table put in a table and make comparison and then, then you start writing based on what you collected in a table okay the table is is for you to summarize key points related to literature review okay because you know you will identify what are the issues and what are the problems addressed by the authors what are the methodology used by the authors what are the data source of that investigation what are the data analysis being used okay for that particular project so if you have that in a table you can compare what researcher a did what researcher B did, what researcher C did, okay, and only then you can write your own literature. If you don't have that, most likely you are just copying. You're just copying from one paper to another paper and another paper. So if later on we put it in, turn it in, a similarity check software is going to fail. Okay, you cannot get uh, originality if you are just copying and paste, okay? So the technique that I have mentioned in the lecture was you can summarize in a table, you can summarize in my pen, and then write your own. Okay, write your own writing. So this is still a challenge for many students. Skill of writing. This okay, skill of writing need to be improved. Okay. So the next question is uh, I do not need to do literature review before I select and define my research problem. Okay, this is false. Okay, you must start with literature review okay i have a student ask me which chapter should i write first in my research proposal okay a phd student asked me you know after finishing research methodology course asking me so it means that he did not understand what he learned in research methodology okay i want to ask you can you write chapter one the introduction before you start or before you do your literature review no no right so it's very obvious you cannot write chapter one before you do your literature why, why you cannot write your, your chapter one before you do your literature because uh, the gap of research you have, you have to find the gap you have to understand it yes correct correct okay abdullah right okay so okay abdullah you say what just now finding the gap yes sir okay so what is the gap actually what do you understand about the gap gap that is maybe after you have listened maybe after you have gone through the literature reviews then yes. you see where knowledge is supposed to be added maybe where it is not captured in the in the, in the research 
then you add the knowledge. Yes, exactly. So do research, we start with literature. Okay, mm -hmm. so you cannot write mm -hmm. chapter one without doing literature. Chapter one is introduction chapter, which is explaining about the research problem. So research problem only can be found in the literature. So you do literature and bring your finding of that problem into your chapter one. And then people will read chapter one and then they will find evidence in chapter two that you correctly analyze the literature and, and indicate there is a gap in the, in, in the research, right? So, so you cannot write chapter one before you do your literature, okay? So maybe literature also need to be continuously updating, but at least you have some working, what we call it a working chapter for literature review that able for you to draft your problem, okay? Problem statement, okay? Problem formulation. Okay, move on to the following uh, question. Uh, from literature review, I can discover what other literature researchers have done. So the answer is true. Okay. Copying the work of others without writing by yourself is acceptable for master project. Okay, this is a very simple question. I purposely put it, okay, not because I, I, I uh, because not uh, that you do not know, I just want to emphasize this. Okay, be remember, many people understand this, but still when doing the research proposal they still found we still found that okay a few not not majority just a few students still doing this they just cut and paste okay import importing the thesis from other places and put it in the proposal okay you have to remember nowadays we are in a big data okay technology is there very easy to check it's very easy to check we are now connected to all the databases we can check similarity very easy okay so never do it because if we found that happening okay you're not going to pass the course okay, even you can get a disciplinary action for uh, cheating in the uh, in the academic uh, activity i'm giving you this reminder now so that it will not happen to you but i know all of you uh, good and ethical, but there are cases happening, that happening, you know, even though we keep reminding that. Even when you want to publish paper, also make sure that your paper is your own writing. Because there are uh, cases where the publisher, the conference organizer write, okay, complain to the supervisor, because the name of supervisor is in the paper. A complaint wiser because there was a, a case of plagiarism. So this is very embarrassing for the supervisor. Okay, if you don't put the names wiser, you yourself you handle the case. But now they put it the name of supervisor and send a plagiarism uh, 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 paper. So it is can be a very big issue in a university where plagiarism is not being controlled. Okay, I hope you understand that. I remind it. At this point, you are at the beginning. You are still at the beginning of your learning how to do research. Okay, so is making noise, right? Okay. Okay, move on. Um, from literature review, I can identify possible methodology for conducting research. Okay, this one, eh? Yes. You, you are able to know what are the techniques being used by others and from there you will select which one should be suitable for you okay so you cannot jump to a techniques without reviewing what are other alternative techniques available okay you need also to review the techniques you need to review the problems remember i keep saying this there is a problem there is a techniques to solve problem so both need to be reviewed okay included that in your literature review and any techniques that you select, you will discuss more detail in chapter three, which is methodology. Okay, the following question, I can submit, I can subcontract, uh, I can subcontract and pay someone to do my assignment or project. Okay, this is also obvious question purposely put here to remind you, there are cases 
students are subcontract. There are many businesses uh, in education nowadays. You give a topic, they will do everything for you. But don't cheat yourself because the purpose of you doing your project is for you to learn. By doing, you are learning. By paying to others, you are not going to learn. Okay, the problem may be become more serious when you go for employment. Your boss asks you to do, you know, investigation and certain problem in the company. You don't know how to do it because why? You get A for the project, but you never do it yourself. Okay, but as I remind here, the purpose for you is to learn and to pass the program. So learning is very important. Doing by learning. When you do, you learn, you have question, you ask. Okay. So some question maybe I cannot answer. Some question maybe your friend can answer. Okay. So learning by by doing. So this is what we want to achieve. Don't ask others to do it and submit on your behalf. Okay. The answer is very obvious. Okay. Disagree. I don't know if there is anybody I agree. We can check later. Eh? Okay. Uh, I promise to do my project by myself and I will be responsible if UTM found progression in my summit work. So this is like your promise to me. Okay. Your promise to me and your promise to your supervisor. Okay. That going to supervise your project. So at least for my class, research methodology. Okay. Unless you say you disagree and you disagree, you have to exit from my course. Lah. Okay. If you cannot promise that you will do yourself and you're not responsible. Okay. So, but I believe all of you agree to do it by yourself where the learning will happen. Okay. The next question, broad review will provide evidence there is a research gap. Okay. This one is no. Broad review is basically evidence you familiar with the area of study. Broad review is familiarity with this area of study. The gap is coming from focus review, which is coming from journal papers. Preparing a classification tree on techniques. Okay, the next question, preparing classification tree on techniques for problem solving will help to justify the selection of a technique for a project. Okay, the answer is yes. Okay, I ask you to do classification of broad areas. Uh, sorry, classification of research area in your respective field of study. That one is to guide you to select okay, your research problem later on. But another classification is related to techniques. What are the techniques available for you to select Okay, to be used in solving your research gap. So there is, there will be a need later on that I will ask you to produce a classification tree okay, related to solution techniques. One of the branch will be that the techniques that you will choose okay, for your own uh, use in your project. Okay, so we have classification tree for the problem. We have classification tree for techniques to solve the problem. So among those techniques, you will pick only one techniques. Or if you are doing comparative study, you may pick two techniques and make comparison, technique A and technique B, how it will be performed in solving uh, a problem that you, ha you have identified in the uh, problem statement. Okay, so in this case, the answer is yes. Okay. The next question is my mapping can assist in classifying research gap. Okay, the answer is yes. Can classify. Okay, you can summarize in a mind mapping, just one page of mind mapping that summarizing 10 pages of general paper. It's easier to see mind mapping than to read the whole paper because you're going to read, uh, you're going to refer to the same paper over and over again. But if you have that in mind mapping, it's very easy. You just take that mind mapping. You see what you have written when you read that paper earlier. So maybe for, for the first round, you are reading to identify the problem. The second round reading will be looking at the techniques. So you just update your mind mapping. Uh, and then later on, you, you want to see how to analyze the data. Okay, you go again to the, that paper, see how that researcher used the technique for analysis, any statistical analysis used. So if you have that mind mapping, you don't need to read the whole paper over and over again because you already summarized in the form of mind mapping. So if you do not familiar with mind mapping, I strongly recommend you to Google 
to check on YouTube what is mind mapping. Okay, how to prepare mind mapping. Okay, this is just converting descriptive information into a graphical format. Okay, so the following questions is when selecting a research area, okay, this question, which of the following statement is not appropriate? Okay, as I mentioned that you need to be passionate. Okay, you need to be passionate about your work. Okay. I choose any topic from a supervisor that can give me a grade A. Okay, this have to be careful. Eh? It's not always true that way. If you do good job, okay, you will get A, regardless who is the supervisor. Okay, if you think that, okay, you, you choose this person because he's going to give A, even though you don't like the area, you are not passionate with your area, you have to think again. Okay, so because whatever you uh, do for your project, not only your supervisor will give the grade, but also there will be another person who are reading your work. Okay? There will be a panel who are going to evaluate your presentation and your report. Okay? So it will be good if you found that a supervisor that you know can understand your work, can give A, but at the same time, you learn uh, from doing that research. But if you solely based on the grade, this is dangerous. Okay? Don't solely based on grade, but don't care about what you learn. Okay, so the answer B is not correct, lah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. The topic is manageable within time and resource available. This one you have to be, uh, what to consider this. Okay, the topic might be so big, maybe not manageable for two semesters. Okay, this has to be clearly uh, defined the scope. Okay, the resources. Okay, resources I've explained earlier. Can I have uh, Izad? What you understand about resources? Izad, you listening to me? Okay, he's on the phone. Eh? He's, uh, he's opening the phone. Not listening. Okay, Fatin. Okay, Fatin. <laughs> Okay, what is resources? Uh, resources uh, is uh, material that you use uh, to help you understand more about uh, something. Uh, we can find we can find resources, uh, for example, at library or uh, through the internet. Okay, uh, in, in, in this question, we say that uh, the topic is manageable within time and resources available. Mm -hmm. Okay, resources. When we say research, to do research, you need resources. Okay. Huh? Resources required for the, this about the resources. For example, the laboratory. Resources required about uh, your project. Okay, the requirement for your project. Okay. Yeah. It, could, it could be machines, it could be computers, yeah. it could be software, mm -hmm. uh, okay. it's depend on your area. If you are doing some experimental work in the laboratory, you need some samples, okay? some materials, you need equipment okay, to test. Is there the equipment that uh, available for testing? Okay, for, for what we call it for doing the experiment? Is there software available to analyze? You have to check this, okay? Otherwise, you, you end up having a problem, very good problem, but and then there is no equipment, okay, no equipment to, to make testing. And then it's also a waste of, of time, okay. If, if there is no equipment, maybe you should start thinking of doing modeling, okay, computer simulations, okay, where you have the software and you do the programming. Okay, during the, con during the time of COVID, okay, I, we hope that by early next year, this COVID should be settled, eh? But during COVID, especially for last semester, many students have problem and has to uh, postpone the master project because cannot go to laboratories. Okay, because lab is not allowed to be assessed due to uh, what we call MCO, the okay, movement control orders. So, so you need to think also about this. Okay, if if we hope that by early next year, the lab. Uh, is able to to be accessible by student, and then you can you can select a topic which use use the equipment the lab, in the laboratories. 
Otherwise, you, you need to consider doing simulations. Okay, using software or using programming, using modeling. So projects still can be done, but okay, you have to see what are the resources required. So at least if you're still keen to use equipment, need to have a backup plan. Backup plan, in case you are not able to use equipment, you can do it as a simulation. Okay, I hope that clear on this. Okay, the next one is, uh, I have necessary background knowledge related to the topics. Okay, it's good to have, you already have that broad knowledge about the topics. Okay, if you are not familiar with a topic, okay, for example, you want to do air conditioning, you never learn in the class undergraduate about conditioning, air conditioning, or you never learn about no, uh, solar energy and you want to do research in solar energy. Yes, you can do it, but it's going to take longer time because you need to read the basic. Okay, so preferably you choose a topic where you already have background knowledge because master project is two semester. You have limited time. So, and the purpose of doing this project or master project is for you to learn how to do research. Okay, learning the techniques of doing research. Later on, you can do any research. Okay regardless of topics and area. Okay, that is very important. Learning, the process of learning is important. Okay, so we have two things. We have the end results and we have the process. So we are emphasizing here the process of learning, not the end results without okay, traceable process of learning. Okay, I hope that uh, you can follow that. Okay, can I have question before?